not attempt to adjust your dial. But a bum bum bum. It's your boy Big Vern. This is App Stupid, the fastest growing sports and entertaining show on these YouTube streets. You're welcome. Holla. I want to get blooded, my brother, and then I make a mark, and then I make a spark over this fat track. I should have said dope beat, subtract, delete. Ah! Yo, the wig, gangsta, and nice and smooth. Shout out to them. If you just joining us for the first time at App Stupid Welcome, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It goes a long way, helps the channel. Also, we just wrapped up a segment. The Jets. The Jets are extremely bad. There's no need to go into any further detail. It's who you, who are you going to fire and when will they be gone kind of thing. So, going to stay in the sorriest division in the NFL, the AFC East, and I'm going to take my victory lap. I was right. The Bills are in trouble. Now, if you can remember, not too long ago in the distant past, I told people that the Bills have been putting up awful 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 stats it was pretty much beating the worst teams that they can get their hands on and they struggled with the cardinals when i saw that i was like eh, i'm not sold because josh allen lost a lot of weapons and i was like oh and then on the defense we also talked about how they're missing one of their premier uh players on that defense and i was like I don't think Buffalo is going to have the same year that everybody thought they were going to have because right now they're trying to pitch you that there's Kansas City and then Buffalo is nipping at their heels. And that could be the furthest thing from the truth. The furthest thing from the truth. So when they beat the Dolphins, everybody was brow beating. And then there's some people in my comments. I'm not going to mention any names. They were saying, hey, look, they beat the Bills 31 to 10, and I don't think that they're struggling. Shut your dumb ass up. Again, there are no bigger marks than football fans. There are no bigger marks than football fans. I told you this dude was in trouble. The Bills could always beat the Dolphins. The Dolphins couldn't beat the Bills. And that's the way it is. So I was not impressed when I seen them beat the Dolphins and then the Jaguars because Ian Tyne, he is pretty much done with. So because he's hurt and he's injured, Trevor Lawrence is really not that good. And I know a lot of people want him to be good. He's got he again for some of these weirdos. He checks the boxes. They like how he looks and they was just like, oh, he's got to be the next it guy. But you put SH in front of that it, and that's what you have when you have Mr. Lawrence back there being a quarterback. However, you play a real team in Baltimore. Baltimore put the slacking on the Buffalo Bills. And just how bad was it? We'll talk about it when we come back from a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. This is Big Vern. Drop the spot. Taco Bell, Live Moss. Order online, download the app, or visit the good folks at your local Taco Bell. Taco Bell, Live Moss. So, when the Bills played a real team in the Baltimore Ravens, the Bills got a wake up call, a resounding wake up call. Now, if you watch that game, it was raining. So, when it's raining, the football wisdom is hey, look, run the ball, put the ball on the ground, and then move the ball. The guys up front have them push, punk out and defeat the other guys open up that lane so we can get in those gaps and then we can turn it up field i'm with that a hundred percent and so was baltimore and so was baltimore here it is baltimore 22 first downs put in that third and long or that third where you have to convert to that first down they were put behind the eight ball nine times they converted five times that's really freaking good. 
they kept that Bills defense out there on the field. The Bills defense is decimated. They're tired. And it showed because in the run game, they hung 271 in the run game on these guys. Now, they've got to figure out. Baltimore does. Hey, look, it's okay if you let Derrick Henry just keep running and gushing. He concussed some guy when he took a knee to the helmet to the head. I'm like, gee, whiz. I think they clocked him running at 20 miles an hour. I cannot fathom as a human being being hit by someone who's 6'8", 250 pounds of solid man, and he's going to hit you running He's not going to tackle you. You're going to tackle him and you're going to get a concussion. Yeah, count me out. Because that means that that dude could actually really do some damage when he's going. And Henry's, like I said, Henry's playing in his normal. However, I like the fact that Harbaugh didn't feel the need to gamble and go for it on fourth down. There's no need for him to do that. His defense was his defense was stellar and his offense was clicking on all cylinders. Now Lamar did have a fumble. Again, when the footballs are slick, you gotta go ahead and tuck them under the arm. And then when you go down, just go down. You know guys are trying to get the strip. You know guys are trying to punch the ball up out of there. If I'm being nitpicky, I can say, yeah. That's one thing I'll point to. Baltimore held on to the ball for an extremely long period of time. And I think that's what affected Josh Allen. Not only that Josh, he had new receivers that he's working with. These guys are out there just trying to struggle. Now, on the struggle bus also, they stuck Mitchell Trubisky in. How this dude is making a living in the NFL is beyond me. I don't know because I have eyes. I know he's not good. He's only failed spectacularly anywhere he's went. He was so bad they got him out of Chicago in the middle of the night so he would be safe. <laughs> he was so bad in Pittsburgh, he got the rookie fired. This dude should not be in the NFL for any reason at all. Hey, look, give me a quick 20 from a rap album we're promoting this month. This is Big Vern. Drop the spot. Bum, 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 dun, 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 dun. It's your boy, Big Vern. You know what we do here. New hip hop album we promoting this month. Money Bag Yo, speak now. Get it where you legally consume music, whether it be Apple Music, Google Play, or Spotify. Speak Now by Moneybag Yo. My personal favorites are Speak, P Run, I Feel It, and Drunk Off You. Many more. Make sure you go get the album. Moneybag Yo. Speak Now. Yeah, Moneybag Yo. Make sure you go ahead and get the album. It is a good album. We've been rocking and rolling here in the... Uh, App stupid. So looking here, this game was out of control when you got to halftime. It was 21 to 3. And the Ravens, they pretty much kept up the consistency, keeping a ball on the ground and running it down the throats of the Buffalo Bills. They had no answers for it. And Josh Allen, like I said, they dialed up 29 throws for him. I think that's not even doing his skill set any justice. He's a 30 to 35 throws kind of guy that's where you're going to get high productivity out of him however you can't expect too much out of him throwing to khalil shakur now shakir that's no knock on him i mean the dude was drafted in 2022 so he's a new piece he's a new weapon you have to get used to and that's not something you can do of uh, three or four and it's not even four games anymore in the nfl preseason that thing is going to take time to build and buffalo doesn't have that kind of time on their hands so i'm not like i said i'm not knocking him i'm not going at these guys like oh well look he can't get it done and blah 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 because again you have keon coleman this is another new guy from ball and he's going and playing for the bills and it's like i said it's no harm in him he had three catches for 51 yards i mean you see the bright spots but they're too new they're too young they're not developed 
and the Bills, they don't have the patience to keep developing them. And I don't care about a mafia. For me, y'all not a mafia. It's not a real thing. You you all are just kitty cats. <laughs> Standing next to Lamar Jackson, 13 of 18 for 156 yards and two touchdowns. Um, again, when it's raining outside, you're not going to put the ball in the air a whole bunch because, like I say, it, uh, you'll get receivers who can't catch and then the ball will slip through their hands. Perfect example. Here it is. Mark Andrews, the most sure-handed tight end in the NFL. He's on a, a simple go route and he gets hit in the hands with the ball in his hands and he can't pull it in. I think that play happened around, I, I want to say the second quarter, first quarter or second quarter. And I'm sitting there saying to myself, yeah, when you see that from that guy, tuck the ball, tuck the ball and go, tuck the ball and go. But like I say, for the Bills going forward, I know they want to put that behind them, but I don't really don't think they can. I mean, they play the Texans. They got to go to Texas. And I think DeMarco, uh, I think D'Amico Ryans is going to have those guys going, playing some really good football. Then they get to play the awful Jets. They'll beat up on the Jets again. And then they get a rematch with Tennessee. Now, if Mason Rudolph is playing instead of Will Levis, Tennessee may be able to pull that win out. And we'll get into more of that here later. But the good folks in Orchard Park, let me know. Do I have it wrong? Are the Bills struggling right now? Will Josh Allen turn this thing around? Where do you go if you're McDermott? Again, this is Big Vern. I'll be back 